Okay, so I'm going to be the first to say that while the Turtle Beach Atom Controller is awesome, it's a little bit confusing to set up. For example, when you're holding the controller out of the box, it's attached a little funny, but without getting too rough with it, it basically splits apart pretty easy. Now, once it's split apart, you will likely need to charge it for a good 20 to 30 minutes to make sure it's juiced up. And after that, you should download the Atom app from the Play Store because it's got a list of games available for the controller and firmware updates. Okay, now connecting this controller was also a little confusing. And basically, you first need to make sure the controller is turned on by touching this button on the left. After that, you need to hold down on two buttons on each side of the controller to make sure each one is turned on. So yes, since this is a two-piece controller, each side of it turns on separately, and it took me a minute to figure this out, and that's very important. Lastly, you just need to connect this controller in your Bluetooth settings by tapping the small button on the bottom of it. However, if both pieces of the controller are not turned on, the Bluetooth is not going to pop up. Okay, so that's basically it. I'm actually going to run a little more gameplay on this thing because it is awesome. Of course, if you'd like to get on our tech newsletter where we send out one email a week and awesome updates, we'll have a link directly below in the description. For now, let's run it. Hey.